Welcome to the University program. This video will walk you through installing and activating Genesis University Edition. The first step is installation. Navigate to our website at www.vitechcorp.com. Once there, click Software at the very top right of the website. When this page loads, Scroll down to find Genesis University Edition and select Details next to it. With that expanded, you can now download the installer. Click on the installer link to begin the download. You can also right click and choose to Save Link As in order to save the download to a specific folder. By default, this is placed in your Downloads folder. I have sped the video up to push through the download. After the download of the application has completed, navigate to where you saved it and right click on the installer and choose Run as Administrator. This will launch the installation wizard. Administrative permissions are required to install both Genesis University Edition and SQL Server Express. If you do not have administrative access on your computer, please seek assistance from your IT department. Please note that during the installation, the installer will look for an installation of SQL Server Express on the machine. If none is found, it will prompt you to install SQL Server 2012 Express. Click Install if it is not already on your machine. This may take some time to install, and there will be various screens presented while this installation takes place. After a permission check, there is no action needed. When prompted, click Yes to reboot the computer. In most cases, upon reboot, the installer will restart. If it does not, run the installer from the location at which it was saved. I already have SQL Server Express on this machine so I am ready to install Genesis University Edition. When the installer resumes, or you are ready to move forward, click Next to proceed. Read the license agreement and then accept the terms. If you choose not to accept the terms, the installation will be canceled. Click Next to continue. Enter a username and organization for your installation. This information will help identify your system and is not used for logging into the software. Once you have entered your desired information, click Next. Choose the location for your installation. By default, Genesis University Edition will be installed to the Program Files x86 folder on your C drive. You can adjust this by clicking Change next to the location. Click Next when you have selected the location for your installation. Genesis offers two different paper sizes for generating reports, US Letter and A4. US Letter is the standard paper size for inside the US. A4 is the standard paper size outside of the U.S. Choose the appropriate paper size and click Next. The last screen before clicking Install will give you the option to go back and adjust any installation settings. If your settings are correct, click Install. A dialog will come up displaying the status of your install. Use the Cancel button if you wish to stop it. I have also sped the video up here to get through the installation. After the installation is complete, the next step is activating your license. Launch Genesis University Edition, and it should take you to the activation wizard. You can also start the license utility in the Genesis University Edition folder instead. If you start the license utility, you must then choose the Activate License option. Once you have started the activation wizard, select the type of license you are using. 
Most university edition licenses are local to the machine, so I'll choose local. If you have been instructed that you will be using networked licenses, choose network. Click next to continue. If you are using networked licenses, then the activation is complete. You should be able to start Genesis and choose a license from the options available. If using a local license, step two requires you to enter your email address as well as your product key. The product key should be provided by your professor. With that information entered, click Next to continue. On step three, select Activate Online if you have internet access. That option will send your license activation to Vitex license server. If the machine does not have internet access, click the button to generate C2V file and send the resulting file to licensing at vitechcorp.com, letting them know that you need a manual activation. A member of the licensing team will return a V2C file that will activate your license. Instructions will be included with the activation file. Clicking Activate Online will skip Step 4 which is only required for manual activations when the internet access is not available. On step 5, click the button to activate. When the activation is complete, you should receive a confirmation message that the software has been successfully activated. When that message comes up, you are now ready to launch Genesis University Edition and begin working. Genesis, when launched, will ask you for a username and password. The default username is Administrator with a capital A, and the password is Admin, all lowercase. Upon first login, Genesis will present a registration dialog. This registration is not necessary but it will grant you access to my support, which includes a plethora of resources to help you with all things Vitek. Because I have already registered, that dialog does not pop up. For any questions or issues, please contact support so that we can help you complete the installation and activation of Genesis University Edition. For more information and resources on Genesis, please visit our website or contact our support team.